So today I'm going to be showing you how to install the game Isekai Saga Awaken on your Apple Silicon Mac for free. We're going to be using BlueStacks Air. So if you've got a Mac with an M1, M2, M3 or M4 chip, then this tutorial is going to be for you. I'm going to show you the full process of how to get this running from start to finish, including downloading the app, setting up for maximum performance, configuring controls and getting this game working as well as possible on your Apple Silicon hardware. So the first thing I'm going to do is to download BlueStacks Air. I'm going to leave a link to this at the top of this video description, so make sure to click on that link. Every time someone downloads this for absolutely free, it's going to help to support this channel and the content that I create. So once we follow the link, I'm going to go and click on this download BlueStacks button. I'm going to download this for the first time. I'm going to put this into our downloads folder in Finder. So just download that. I'm going to minimize this. So next, what we're going to do is to go to our Finder icon here, and then we're going to go to our downloads folder. And then I'm going to find the BlueStacks PKG, which we're going to double click on. And then this is going to go through the installer. So all we're going to do now is press continue, continue, install, enter your password. So this is the password that you use to log into your Mac. Press install software. And now that's installing. So this is writing files, running package scripts. And once that's validated, we can press close here and then we'll press the keep button and then we'll go to finder, go to our applications folder, and then we're going to scroll down until we find BlueStacks. So this is BlueStacks Air right here. Just double click on this. And now we can press the allow button. We can close this notification and uh, it's playing this video for us now. We're going to allow BlueStacks to find devices on the local network and just kind of demonstrating what BlueStacks is capable of on the Mac. So once we're here, we can install games from this method, but what I'm also gonna do is to log into the Google Play Store. So what I'm gonna do is to click on this home button on the top menu bar of the app, and then we're gonna to go to system apps, and then I'm gonna to go to the Play Store here, and we're gonna sign into a Google Play account. So here we're gonna do is to click the sign in button, and then we're gonna log into our Google account. So just type in the email address, and password of your Google account, and then we'll log in. So we're not going to turn on contact syncing. We're not going to back up the device, press accept. And now we're logged into our Google account, and then we'll go ahead and install a bunch of Android games on the Mac. So one thing that I do recommend doing is going into settings and then just tweaking some graphics and performance settings. So CPU allocation, it's defaulting to four CPU cores. Generally speaking for gaming, that's probably all you need. By default as well, it's going to go for four gigabytes of RAM. Because I have a 40 gigabyte machines, so I'm going to actually select a higher RAM allocation. And then we're going to select a high performance mode. I'm going to click display FPS during gameplay so I can see what the performance is like. Press save changes. And we can restart now and it's going to restart the entire virtual machine. There are other settings that we can also tweak as well. For example, under display, I'm recording this under 1080p. So I've, that's what, so that's the resolution I've selected. And we're using high DPI. So you can tweak these settings too, as well as which graphics renderer to use. So you want the more advanced one, OpenGL ES 3.1 and above. So what I'm going to do is to click on this home button on the top menu bar of the app. So then what I'm going to do is go back to the store button here. And here we're going to do a search for Isekai Saga Awaken. And then we're going to download this version here. We're going to click install from Google Play. So click the install button here, and then it's going to go through the verification process and then download the game. So once that's downloaded, we can go ahead and launch it from the home screen. So just open it up here and we can just log in as normal to your normal account. If you have an online account, just go ahead and log in and we can just basically play the game as normal. So this is all touch-based controls. So you're gonna have to use your mouse or your trackpad and your cursor in order to interact with the screen as you would normally with your touchscreen. Anyway, the game seems to perform just fine using this method. So anyway, I hope you found this tutorial video useful and interesting. I've got lots of other tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.